Hello everybody! Check out this awesome scroll saw portrait that Charles Deering made for me as a gift. This thing is incredible. It looks just like me. <laughs> if you don't know Charlie, he's a scroll saw artist in Texas and he makes scroll saw patterns as well as portraits just like these and they're just incredible. The detail is amazing. Uh, let's take a look at some of the features of this portrait. Uh, first of all, in the hat, I was wearing a saw stop hat in this picture and Charlie was able to take the saw stop logo off the hat and put my logo up there and kind of curve it to fit the contour of the hat. So that looks really cool, Charlie. Also, check out all the detail in the beard. Uh, Charlie told me when he was cutting out the facial hair that he got a little burned out and that's totally understandable. And Charlie, if you had just told me you were going to do this, I would have shaved for the picture. <laughs> One of the really cool things I like about Charlie's work is that he even cuts his signature out of the wood. Uh, down here in the bottom right corner, you can see that his signature is barely hanging on by two small slivers of wood. So Charlie, if you're watching, I want to thank you very much for making this awesome gift for me. I know it took a lot of hours of work to make this, so I really appreciate it. And I know my family's going to appreciate looking at my face and my kids will pass it down to their kids, and they'll pass it down to future generations. Until, I suppose, at some point, it'll get to a generation of kids who are like, who's this guy? And why did somebody cut his face out of wood? <laughs> and that's probably when my face will end up in a yard sale, or at a Goodwill store. <laughs> so today, I'm going to make a uh, scroll saw blade picture frame kind of thing. Uh, to hold this portrait so that I can hang it just inside the shop door here. So stick around for a few minutes and watch me make it. I'm going to make a picture frame that is three inches wide all the way around. So the first thing I need to do is measure the width and the height. So the width of the picture is 17 and a quarter. And the height is 25 inches. With the pieces cut to rough length, I'm going to rip a quarter inch off the side of each of them that I can use for the scroll saw blade detail that's going to wrap around the frame. And then I'm just going to rip the edge off the other side so that they're all three inches wide. I've set up my fence so that the rabbit will be cut three quarter inches deep from the back side of the frame. Whenever you're making a series of cuts in the edge of a board like this, you really need to think about which ones to cut first. In this example, while I still had the full width of the board, I cut the first side of the rabbit, and before cutting the other side of the rabbit and losing that material, I went ahead and cut the bevel over here while I still had all of this material here to balance the board. So now I just need to cut the other side of the rabbit and get rid of this little piece. After doing a quick dry fit of the portrait inside the frame, I thought the frame still looked a little too bulky and too much like a 2x4. So off camera, I took the pieces over to the table saw and ripped another 3 quarter inch off the outside. And instead of using my router table, I just eased the corners with some sandpaper for a sharper look. And I think this 2 and a quarter inches wide frame will look a lot better with the picture. So let's glue it up. All right. 
right, the glue is dry, so now I'm going to reinforce each corner with a single two and a half inch screw. Charlie put the portrait onto a black backing board, and I always like the crisp look of natural wood against a black background. So in keeping with that theme, I'm going to paint the frame black, and I'm going to use some of the quarter inch strips that I cut off the 2x4 to create this scroll saw blade detail that's going to go around the front of the frame. All I did here was take this test piece and drill some 3 8 inch holes 1 inch apart, and made the straight cuts with the bandsaw to make it look like a scroll saw blade. Well, the paint is dry and I'm using this soft abrasive pad to knock down the gloss so it has more of a matte finish and then I'm going to glue on the saw blade detail around the perimeter. Alright, the frame is ready. So I've got this piece of plastic from a poster frame. So I've cut it to fit the size. And then we can put the portrait in there. Okay everybody, I've got the portrait mounted in the frame. Are you ready to check it out? Let's have a look. Oh wow, cool! <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Let me know what you think of both the frame and the portrait in the comments below. And if you'd like to check out Charlie's stuff, I'll put links to his website and all of his social media pages in the video description. So check that out. And Charlie, if you're watching, thank you once again so much for creating this awesome portrait for me. Uh, does everybody think it looks like me? <laughs> I'm going to have to check with the wife to see if she'll let me hang it in the house. And if not, I'll definitely find a place for it out here in the shop. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.